Fart. What are you doing? What the dick is? Holy dick. There's my butt apart. Dude, that's a freaking... You're not supposed to hear that yet, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Did you like that, though? Yeah, that sounded pretty sweet. The hell? Another song's playing, too. You just can't get rid of me. <laughs> Boy, I got plenty, dude. I got, man, I told you I was working on new music for this year, dude. I was a freaking joking, dog. But that is beside the point today. You know, I woke up this morning and we went snowboarding. We were up in the mountains. You guys saw the last video yesterday. What the hell? You want to go blind? God dang! Dude, we got freaking like two feet of snow already and it's still snowing. This is the most snow we've gotten all year. Uh, what did you say, in-law? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we hadn't gotten snow in a while. January was the driest month we ever had. And uh, we didn't get like one lick of snow at all in January. And now it's freaking February. And it seems like all the snow is happening in the next freaking couple weeks here. So it's blinding, bro. I need my sunglasses. Holy dick. So here's the deal, yo, man. Here's the issue. We've got a lot of crap to do. And my driveway is so... I mean, there's no way we're getting out there. First of all, the wind is super bad out where I live. So there's drifts all over the place. I need to plow my driveway. Here's the issue. We've got drifts and we've got two feet of snow on my driveway right now. So I don't have a plow. Which you probably saying, why the tits you don't even have a plow? Well, here's one issue. One, I was supposed to get my driveway asphalted uh, at the end of the uh, in like October or something like that, but they didn't do it because we were gonna get a bunch of snow. We had early snow this year, so they said we're gonna have to put it off till April. So I still don't have. I just have a gravel driveway, and um, it's a little rough. So we need to get out when we got we got people coming to do my flooring in the next couple days and. People need to get in and out of the driveway, so I need to plow this thing. So here's my dilemma. I don't have a plow. I don't want to call anybody. That, you know, like, who, who, what kind of man would I be if I called some little son of a dick off Craigslist and be like, hey, man, can you come plow my driveway? I apologize. And he comes up. What if he's an outlaw fan? He's like, what? You little bitch? You ain't got a plow, dude? You little bitch? Freaking does the invisible lat syndrome or something on me, and I'm just like, what the dick, dude? I'm sorry. I apologize. I got a plan. I'm sorry. I don't have much of it around. Hold on. You know what maybe I do? <laughs> One thing I do have, well, I'll just show you. I may not have a plow, but one thing I do have is I got a garage door. Nobody knows that. Wow, it's a mess in there. But I got a lawnmower. Now, if you guys remember, this is, the, this is my bad boy mower. This is a freaking one of the nicest mowers on the market. You guys, my garage is just a freaking mess right now. This is why I'm trying to build a shop in the backyard. Which that'll be coming soon too when the weather gets a little bit better. I'm gonna get the snowboards out of the way. The mower's under here, I swear. <laughs> you sick? Yeah. You know it's freaking sick, dude. He's got the freaking fever. He's got the flu. How, how great of a boss am I that I'm making him freaking work today in this frigid, snowy temperature? <laughs> I apologize, or do I? <laughs> what I do have is a freaking lawnmower. It was under there somewhere, I swear. Now, you gotta be saying, what are you gonna do? You gonna mow the snow? No, I'm not. It's got a two inch coupling right here, bro. It's got a front hitch mount right here. Well. I went on Craigslist this morning. This is how smart I am, man. I went on Craigslist this morning and I found a guy with a golf cart that has a two inch snow plow mount on the front of his golf cart. And I called the guy up and I said, hey man, can I buy that off you? And he said, why? Why would you need such a thing? I said, well, I got a lawnmower I wanna hook it up to. He said, you're crazy and it's probably not gonna work. And I said, Fuck you, you son of a dick. I said, shut up and sell it to me or I'm gonna come and steal it. And he uh, obliged. But I'm not gonna, it's, I gotta pay him, so we gotta run to the bank. But the goal is, well shit, I guess first we should see if this thing even starts. Well, I've had a trickle charger on it, so we'll, we'll see. I'm hoping so. Now, you guys might be saying, how the tits is this gonna work? Look at the beefy tires back there, bro. I got mud tires on my lawnmower. What kind of redneck do you think I am? Check this out. Oh. 
we got fuel in the filter. There's some fuel in there. Oh, freaking dick monkey. I forgot to set a light bar. I was like, what's this do? Donk. Ow. Well, we'll come back and work on this. We need to go get that plow, like ASAP. Let's go. Barely get out of my damn driveway. up in here, boy. <laughs> Anybody coming, right? Nope. Oh, well, at least it's a lot warmer up down here in the, in the, in the mountains. Check that out. 25 degrees? Man, let's just leave the windows down, bro. How's that feel for your fever? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got to run to the bank really quick, pick up some cash, and then uh, we'll head to the guy's place. We'll grab that, that that plow. Yeah. Yeah, we got the moolah. Uh. Money, 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 money. Moolah. That dang thing. Oh. oh. That dang thing's freaking heavy. But he said he had it on a golf cart, and that golf cart doesn't weigh much more than my freaking mower. So, I mean. We'll see what happens. I gotta back up though, cause it's heavy. In-law, sick son of a dick, is gonna have to help me cause that guy just had knee surgery apparently, so. All right, let's see if it works. I didn't want like a All right. All right. Yeah. yeah, well I appreciate it, man. Perfect, I was like, I called the, dealership i bought the mower from because they sell them bad boy does and oh they sell he, those yeah he was like but i won't be able to get it for a couple weeks and i was like man i'll just go on craigslist or facebook and you were the first thing you popped up i was like sweet man that thing's freaking heavy i yeah. smashed my shin on it oh, that felt good man felt good though all right we'll run back to the house we charged the we put the charger back on the mower because it was pretty much dead so if i need to jump it i will and then we'll throw this plow on and he goes he goes hey that's the same cover i got on my truck i said oh yeah we i said we got a deal with them uh, and they sent us one uh, they're super cool so shout out to diamondback covers keeping everything they're keeping our plow that's going to get wet anyway dry <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't even know if the el camino will start to jump it Should subscribe to. Uh, at least I tried. I kind of ran out of pressure. Apologize. Let's sit for a couple minutes and see if it'll work now. Son of a dick works. I 
think we're going to need the power all the way up for this guy. Yeah, we need the tilt option. Definitely need the tilt motion. But, I mean, it was pushing snow, so we know it's not too heavy. As long as we got the tilt option, I can just hold it in my hand and go from there. So I'm going to hook that up real quick. All right, let me check the oil really quick. It looked good. Tires should have enough traction. Um, I don't know about these guys. We might be slipping and sliding around. If I do have that, I got some chains. I'll figure out how to put some on. There is a little bit of clearance in there. I can do that, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and then we'll try this on a day. All right, a little break here for just a second. You know, we just put up the video yesterday on getting the truck stuck up in the mountains and we just uploaded it. Yet there's hundreds and hundreds of comments that I just had to address really, really quick. Just, just really fast. Now, the majority of these comments are not people that are actually subscribed to my channel. They're new and it's pretty funny. So my question is why? First of all, everybody, everybody that's commenting this is like 12 years old. Like it's, it's hilarious. Like they're all in middle school or high school. So obviously all of them aren't 12. 12 is an easy number to go to whenever they act that way. Um, which seems to happen a lot in my fucking comment section. But I'll go after this. Why are so many people triggered that I got stuck right away? Like, so angry. Like, literally, I was looking on the computer and I'm like, dude, every, there's like 200 people commenting that are like angry that the truck got stuck. Like, oh, he doesn't even know how to use his lockers. What are you talking about? You don't think I know how to push a button to turn air lockers on in a brand new truck, which that's the only way to get to? What the dick are you talking about? Oh, this guy, just another city slicker that gets his truck stuck in, stuck in a little bit of snow, a little bit of snow. Yeah, five feet of snow, five feet of soft snow that I had to go a hundred yards to get, to even get on the trail. Like, it's ignorant nonsense that everybody's spewing in the comments. Like, come on, shut up. I've been making videos longer on this platform than anybody tries to compare me to. So when they start saying like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, you just shut the yeah. fuck up, dude. Like I've been doing this longer than anyone. And anybody in the comment section that tries to share their ignorant opinion on when they have no clue what they're talking about, when they're not even old enough to buy a freaking truck themselves yet, shut up. And this is, this is hilarious. I look two kids up that I've never lived in the city of my life, which I don't give a shit, dude, people can call me whatever the tits I want, it doesn't bother me, obviously you can see. But why, how stupid do you have to be to call somebody a city slicker, act like you're a redneck, you're from Seattle, Washington, you have a Confederate flag in your thumbnail picture, in your avatar, and you're calling me a city slicker when you live in an apartment in Seattle, Washington with a fake ass Confederate flag that doesn't even have the right amount of stars on it. Like, what are you doing? These are the people that are on the internet. Remember how I was talking about a couple of videos ago that, that there's so much toxic BS on this website? Yet, the funniest thing is, is when you see the people that thumbs this up, the thumbs the comments up that are just spewing BS. Those are the idiots too. And there's gonna be people on this video, they're gonna go, wow, those people are so stupid, man. I don't want you to freaking back me up. I don't want you to freaking sit here and be like, oh, well, you know, I, yeah, they're just, they're idiots, man. I just, I just can't believe it. I don't need that. I need you to just not be fucking stupid. That's it. Anyways, back to your regular shredder program. I'm gonna hook this son of a dick up right now. Oh, I'll, I'll probably have to watch a couple YouTube videos though, cause I'm a city slicker, you know? I don't know how to hook up to positive or negative. All I know about positive is that I'm HIV positive. I apologize, I guess. All right, got our wiring harness right here. We got some clamps. I don't know if I'm gonna clamp this button up just yet, but here's our tilt back and forth. And we'll just plug it into the plow itself. I'm just gonna have to splice it into the battery myself. Ugh. Go back here, right to the battery. Fuse on this guy, looks like it's still good. Yep, not burn out, that's good. And I'm just gonna unloosen these guys just a little bit and then shove them in. I gotta strip that guy back just a tad. And in all seriousness, guys, like I was talking about earlier, you know, there's a lot of hate on YouTube. Not just, not just on, not just on uh, my channel. You know, I don't get that much hate, honestly, anymore, because I've been doing it for a long time. But there's, there's a lot of just BS on there that like doesn't need to be there. And you have a, I don't. This is one thing that I don't understand is there's a lot of wannabes 
on YouTube. And if there's anything I can't stand, it's somebody that's trying way too hard to be something that's not even that cool. And I don't understand the freaking you get these 16 year olds and shit that think they're cool and they're in high school and whatever they wear cowboy boots that they bought at boot barn and all this bullshit and they think that they're a cowboy they think that they're a redneck that they're a hillbilly like that's like some type of like there's some type of passage or something like that like what the fuck yeah. like that just proves how retarded you are you know what i mean I get it on social media all the time. I get it on that. Dude, I've been doing these videos for like 12 years. If you don't know by now, like I'm not, I don't have anything to prove. Like for, for somebody to be like, this guy's a wannabe. A wannabe what? A wannabe what? A wannabe person? A wannabe human being? Like what the fuck are you talking about? I, I, I think it's hilarious because, you know, I've done meet and greets and shows and everything and not one person has said anything to my face like they have said in the comments below and i've had one instance i've never told this story i had one instance of a kid come to a meet and greet and i remembered him i remembered him from a youtube comment when this kid was calling me all types of names for years like he wouldn't shut the fuck up and i knew he was doing it for a reason i knew he was doing it for attention but he showed up to my meet and greet with one of my shirts on and he walked up to me i was like man you look familiar and i was thinking maybe he was just a buddy of mine or something like that I remembered him instantly and I said, get the fuck off the stage. I was like, get the fuck off. And he was like, what, what? And then I got on the mic and I told everybody who the hell he was and everybody booed him out of the room. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like some pussy ass little dildo that is gonna just put on this fake face, you know, in person because, you know, I don't know, I don't, I don't get it, man. I'm sick of, the, Everybody in America and in the world is becoming so pussified nowadays. It's like, quit being a little bitch. If you ain't gonna say it in person, then don't say it in a freaking comment section, man. Come on. Go. All right. And it's nice because, ah, oh, hell, if it gets dark, fuck it. I got a light bar on this thing. We can go all night, baby. You know, this is kind of just for entertainment. Like, I actually didn't think this was going to work. And it's actually already working a lot better than I thought. Okay. Hooked up there. Let's see. Oh, shit, boy. Look at that, man. Killer. Right, I should probably start this thing before we run that battery down again. Nice. All right, we're all hooked up. Now, I'm going to probably put a housing on this guy. Throw it on there. Dude, this thing looks pretty sick with a freaking plow on it. That's tits money, man. All right, it's looking like a winter wonderland out here. Luckily, it's not too cold. Oh, I'm sure everybody up in North Dakota and, and Saskatchewan, oh, we we ice fish in two degrees, boy. We ice fish in our t-shirts in two degree weather, boy. Pussy. Puss. Apologize, man. I'm sorry for being a human being and being cold at anything under freezing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm from, I'm, apparently, I'm from the city. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, dude. I forgot. I had a jerry rig, uh, some zip ties on here. I didn't have any freaking eight or ten inches, so I had to go with the old four inches. And luckily, they're yellow. You guys know me and the hashtag four inches. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, how ironic that I put the camera down there. So, all the wiring is good. It's a little janky over here. I don't know what to do with this, dude. Uh, I'm just going to put, I put the little trigger remote here right in the. Uh, right in the freaking cup holder we're gonna go ahead and start this up and see if we can make something happen here
basically moral of the story is what I was talking about earlier doing due to previous video, everybody talking shit on the Colorado and all this kind of crap. Yeah, I probably made a mistake on going in five feet of soft snow for the very first time. And for all you idiots that live down south that have never seen snow in your life, I don't care what kind of truck you have. It doesn't matter. Unless you have like 54 inch tractor tires with a shit ton of power, you ain't getting through that. And people saying, oh, you should have gone with a full size truck. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure a heavier truck. Like people were saying that a stock Ford F-250 would have done, you're retarded, dude. Like half of you guys don't know anything about trucks and you should just shut the front door. Actually, I should probably do that. <clears throat> Not too shabby, man. It's doing freaking good. So, I mean, this was obviously when I was going really freaking fast, but the, 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 the mower was doing good, man. It wasn't even getting stuck that well. So I got almost the whole driveway done. Just got to get a little bit more here. Um, it's hard. Uh, I probably do got to mount that button somewhere because it's hard going like holding it and then pushing the things back and forth. You know, the guy had it on a golf cart before, so he said it was easy just to hold because all you got to do is freaking hold the wheel and one with one hand. This one you got to turn and do everything in the same. So yeah, dude, this thing looks like a freaking beast, dog. The gosh dang rebel, man. You know what? What do you guys think? I think we need to maybe take that bottom piece off or just leave it on and paint it orange and then put like, dude, Outlaw logo right here, man. I mean, it's, it's only, what, what is it? February? I mean, I'm in Colorado, dude. It snows until, um, oh, but you know, hold on. I don't know anything about snow apparently, you know, so. But it does snow here until uh, May or June, you know, so. But I don't know anything about snow, so don't take everything I, I say serious, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm just a, I'm a fake, you know. I'm not a real country boy, you know. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not real, you know. I pretend to hunt all the time. I pretend to fish. I don't know how to throw a bait caster. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I can't pull a bow back, you know. I'm not accurate at all. I'm, I'm just a poser, you know. Mm, I'm actually a fake dipper, too. I dip pouches. Um, I just, uh, I, I try to be cooler than I am, you know. Also, a minute ago, when you saw me hooking up that electrical, that wasn't me. That was actually somebody else's hands. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you, this isn't actually a bad boy mower. It's a Ford. Should have bought a Chevy, right? Or no, should have bought a, should have went with Mopar. <laughs> the only thing I ever do is is uh, is YouTube videos. I actually don't do anything else. I actually don't have six other multi-million dollar businesses ever. Uh, that's, uh, I don't buy this stuff myself. It's all daddy's money, just so. Yeah, the only reason I still make YouTube videos is for fame on Instagram so that uh, so that I can my dad will still buy me stuff and people think I'm country. Oh, these are my uh, city slicking boots. Yeah, apparently, uh, yeah, that people were laughing at them, you know, apparently. Sorel Caribou's the most legendary snow boot of all time is now a, a city slicker boot. Apologize, should have just worn my Nikes, my Nikes out here. <laughs> Well, it's probably a oh, it's probably a good thing I I uh, don't have a degree in automotive technology because I I thought I was supposed to put the oil in the freaking radiator, dude. <laughs> what the hell, man? Is wrong with me? Dude, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> what was that? Oh, that was my ego. Like all the people in the comments that don't make vidges and don't have avatars and all they have on their YouTube channel is anime and video game videos. Oh, I don't think I've ever played a video game actually. <laughs> when the last time I played a video game was Super Mario in freaking 1993. Oh, I don't even think freaking 90% of you were even born then. <laughs> Respect your elders, bitch. <laughs> It's plowed. In-laws leaving. He's going to the doctor, man. That's some bitch. That's some bitch. Sick. But hey, man, the freaking plow worked, man. We got the driveway plowed. I did donuts and ruined the driveway. I just scraped it all back. 
but it, I mean, it just, it's just kind of a mess now, but I had to have a little bit of fun, you know what I'm saying? But dude, I mean, this thing's about ass, man. I mean, I spent 400 bucks on the plow. The guy said it was about two grand. And and I know of some companies that sell these for like 1,400 to $2,000. He said that this thing was like a package. It was like two grand. So I got it for 400 bucks. He said he only used it like two times. So it's pretty new. So I'd say it's a pretty gosh dang good deal, man. What y'all think, dude? And it goes right and left too, which is cool. Just got to take the pin out. Um, I just didn't really have to do that since I can move the mower itself. But I'm actually thoroughly surprised that that worked, man. Wow. I mean, the guys who even sold me the mower said, don't buy a plow for your lawn mower. It's not going to work well. Dude, I just did my whole driveway in freaking, like, I mean, if I wasn't screwing around, probably five minutes I would have done that. That's insane. And that was two feet of snow. It's probably two feet of snow. If you look like, then my bush is just completely destroyed. Ah, oh, freaking GoPros. I don't know why. I don't know freaking why they die in the freaking cold. But I was in the middle of a clip yesterday and they freaking died. But anyways, uh, yeah, there's the, uh, the gosh dang driveway. It, uh, starting to melt a little bit today, but we've been able to get out of the son of a dick. Might be asking why the El Camino's out. Well, we've been redoing the floors in my house and I had to fit everything in the garage. So anyways, uh, yeah, man, the mower worked cool with the freaking plow, dude. It's pretty freaking sweet. It, uh, it looks pretty cool too, man. It's pretty insane how a gosh dang lawnmower can have a plow and it can actually push like two feet of freaking snow. Oh, that was attractive. Two feet of freaking snow. That's pretty cool, man. Looks sick. Uh, bad boy, you guys did a good job. And thanks to the dude on Facebook Marketplace for the gosh dang plow, you son of a dick. I appreciate it. <laughs> and for all the yeah. problems that I called out in today's gosh dang video, if your freaking butt hurt too gosh dang bad, I ain't apologizing this time. You freaking deserved it. But I do want you guys to wish in law a fast, fast recovery in the comments below, please, man. He's feeling freaking sick, dude. He's got the flu or, 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 or something. Well, I think that's what the. <gasps> dude, the freaking corona? The co it could be the freaking corona. That son of a dick does drink Corona like every gosh I gotta go get that shit out of my fridge. Land of the big bucks is where I'll be. I got shine in the storms as far as you can see. Country Al Capone to find me you need a drone. Walk up in my woods and get a prod into the dome. I got frog gigs, trot, lines, catfish, hooks, and sharpened buck tines. All for you if you cross me for the last time. Put you down together while...